And now, Broadside, the news with Jim Browdy. I'm making another exception to my no book tours rule tonight, but it's a worthy one. Ever since President John F. Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, for nearly five decades, people have tried to connect the dots to wider conspiracies. And now there's yet another theory. The book is Mary's Mosaic. I'm not going to read the subtitle because that would give away too much. It tells the story of a JFK mistress and a murder. Author Peter Janney thinks he knows who did it and why, so stand by. The flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Walter Cronkite's words confirming the death of President John F. Kennedy, the victim of assassination, November 22, 1963. The beginning of a search for answers, which continues to this day. Mary's Mosaic is the latest book to re-examine the JFK story. At the center of the tale is an alleged mistress of the president and an unresolved murder mystery. My guest is the author and film producer Peter Janney. He's a self-described CIA brat who went from a career as a psychologist to business school and then his decades-long obsession with the Mary Meyer story. Peter, it's good to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Let's start at the end and then we'll fill in the blanks a little bit later. Uh, it wasn't Leo Harvey Oswald, according to you. He'll, who killed Kennedy and why, Peter? Well, I think there were a number of reasons, but it was basically triangulated gunfire in Dallas that killed Kennedy. Initiated and by whom? I think the orchestrator, the prime orchestrator, was the Central Intelligence Agency. And they were upset with him because they thought that, according to you, that post Bay of Biggs, he had lost his, his confidence in them. And to stem that, they decided he had to be taken out. Well, I think, you know, Kennedy, during his tenure, uh, really started to turn very cool on the agency. He felt like they were trying to run the country and that they were not obeying orders and basically taking over and stealing our country from us. Well, you say turn on the agency in, uh, in many ways started having a different world view and many, including you, attribute it to someone who was his alleged mistress. I mean, it's been mentioned in a number of places. Mary Meyer, who is Mary Meyer and what happened to her? Well, she was involved with the president for the last three years of his life. And she, you think not just the casual sexual affair? No, this was a substantial relationship. Mm -hmm. He really was in love with her, as he told his special assistant, Kenny O'Donnell. Mm -hmm. And I think after he left the White House, he told Kenny that he really wanted to be with Mary, which would mean that he would have to divorce Jackie. And, and by the way, the Mary Meyer story is very interesting. Her involvement with Timothy O'Leary, allegedly, and LSD and other sorts of things. Her allegedly, according to you and some others, convincing the president to move more in a direction of peace and away from this bellicose uh, uh, kind of thing. And she was murdered shortly after the Warren Commission report came out. What's the connection there? The connection is that she was about to go public with what she had found out. And which that, was? Which was that she believed that she had uncovered evidence that the CIA had orchestrated the death of her lover, President Kennedy. And, and, but, and it, it'd be clear, there was someone uh, charged with her murder. He was acquitted at trial, and the murder has not been solved some almost 50 years, uh, 50 years uh, uh, later. Now, it, just so people understand your involvement, you're personally, I don't know if entangled is the right word, connected to a, a, a lot of this. Your father was in the CIA, correct? That's right. I grew up in Washington in the 1950s and 60s. My parents and family were very close with the Meyer family. I was best friends with one of the Meyer boys before he was killed. The son of Mary Meyer. Correct. Yeah. Right. And you think your father, who with whom, from whom you became estranged at some point, you think your father knew about the fact that Meyer had been targeted for the reason you suggested and just let it happen. Is that I, correct? I think it's clear that my father was part of the conspiracy to assassinate Mary Pinchot Meyer, yes. For, what do you mean when you say part of? Part of in what way? Just that he knew that he was, uh, I know you're not suggesting he was the person who did the actual execution, but help get it from idea to actuality? Uh, to help control it on the day it took place. My father makes a very uh, disturbing phone call to Ben Bradley. Uh, within Ben Bradley uh, of the Washington Post and correct. Watergate fame, who was uh, obviously a very close friend of the President of the United States, and, that, that and of my father. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we I, I grew up knowing Ben and the family. You know, I I knew all of these people growing up in where I did, and that day, uh, shortly after the murder, within two hours, I mean, Mary's body wasn't even cold yet. My father calls Ben. 
Bradley in a very suspicious call and says, uh, Ben, do you know where Mary is? Uh, you know, there's been a murder on the, on the towpath. And by the sound of the description, it sounds like it could be Mary. And this was the sort of ringing bell that started Bradley to run home and make arrangements and uh, confront the reality that his sister-in-law had been murdered. You know, to continue this, this, this interconnection kind of thing, your father was in the CIA. He was friendly with the husband of Mary Meyer, Cord who was Meyer. also in the uh, CIA. Correct. Uh, ben Bradley of Washington Post fame, who you just mentioned, was married, I believe, to Mary Meyer's sister. Is that correct? That's correct. And then Ben Bradley was amongst those who went and tried to find this diary of sorts of Mary Myers, which no one has found, which theoretically provides far greater detail about her relationship with John F. Kennedy, right? Well, they conspired to find the diary on the night of the murder, and they found a sketchbook the next day, allegedly. But I maintain in the book that that wasn't the real diary. The real diary had a whole sort of year long. Uh, facts and things that Mary had written about bringing her to the conclusion, assembling her own mosaic as to what had happened in Dallas. Why did you think, why do you think, let's just starting with this and then we'll work backwards, why do you think such a diary exists? Or well, existed? I, I think it, it was known that Mary was a diary writer, a diary keeper. This is a habit that she had ingrained since she was 15 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's still another diary of hers in existence today, which you know, the family wouldn't allow me to see, but Mary was an inveterate diary keeper. So uh, let me make a guess, even though I haven't done a poll, half the people who are cons conspiracy buffs sitting at home saying, I can't wait to get this book, Mary's Mosaic, half of the people sitting at home, and I may be off by a percentage or two, say yet another conspiracy nut who has great theories but can't prove anything. Let's start with their accusations from it. What evidence do you have? Any? Let's start with the assassination of JFK. While there's a growing body of belief amongst a broad spectrum of people, even those who don't agree with your basic thesis here, that it wasn't Lee Harvey Oswald, that the CIA did have some involvement. What proof is there of this at all? The, the best proof that's come out recently is by a man by the name of Douglas Horn, who was the chief analyst for military records at the Assassinations Record Review Board. And through his uh, uh, examination of all the material that they brought together in the early 1990s after the JFK Records Act was, was uh, released, uh, we've discovered that there were, for instance, actually three separate casket deliveries at the Bethesda morgue on the night of the assassination. Which suggests what? Well, the real body, President Kennedy's body, actually arrived at 6.35 in the evening, 20 minutes ahead of the motorcade that we were all led to believe was carrying President Kennedy's body. Which means what? Well, what conclusion should we draw from that? The conclusion we should draw is that there was evidence, there was post cranial surgery done before the legitimate real autopsy that altered the wounds, that got rid of the evidence of, room, of gunshots coming from the front of the motorcade and making sure that all wounds substantiated the fact that the three shots came from behind the motorcade. And how about evidence about Mary Myers involved in all this and the alleged reason for her killing? What was it, 10 days after the Warren Commission came out? What evidence do you have of that, that that was the motivation for her execution? Well, I guess the best evidence is is that, you know, there isn't any other solution. In well, except that the guy was acquitted. Some of your critics, who are friends of yours, by the way, say that this guy Crump, the alleged shooter who was acquitted, went on to perpetrate a lot of horrible crimes, which would suggest he was wrongly acquitted. What's wrong with their theory? What's wrong with it is it doesn't take into account that uh, Ray Crump was likely abused while he was in prison and that he was really a product of post-traumatic stress disorder mm -hmm. and, and that really his career, his subsequent career in crime was a reaction to what he had suffered in jail. Now, by the way, while you're not the first one to mention Meyer's relationship with JFK, you are the first one to actually have a picture, I believe, of them together in this book. And here it is, by the way, if you haven't seen it, JFK, and there is this socialite, uh, Timothy Leary connected, uh, a woman who allegedly had an affair in a very deep sort of way with JFK. Final question for you, Peter. You've, my understanding is you've written the White House, you asked Eric Holder, the Attorney General, get involved, written to Congress. Has anybody in a position of authority shown any interest in your theories? Not yet. What does that mean to you? I think it means that people are really leery at uh, taking a look at this. I, I think my book is substantial enough 
that it really shows the reader for the very first time that there's just no way that this guy Ray Crump could have murdered Mary Meyer. Uh, and I go into great detail as to why. She was shot execution style. Uh, this guy never had a gun in his possession. His and no gun was found either. And no was. gun was ever found. And Peter, I have to say, I've only read 100 pages, but I recommend it for everybody. Peter, Johnny, done great work. Thank you, Jim. See what it leads to. The book is Mary's Mosaic. Now I'll give you the subtitle, The CIA Conspiracy to Murder John F. Kennedy, Mary Pinchot, I hope I pronounce it right, Meyer, and Their Vision for World Peace by Peter, Johnny. Peter, again, good to meet you. 